K94.5, the number one hit music channel. We are the Morning Madhouse, and we have Winston Hall in studio from Wrong Note Right, a story of an accidental piano man. Yes. Now, this is this is different. This is, uh, it's it's not a play, but it is a play. It's a one-man show. It's a one-man show play performance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all of those things. So it's you, all of those things. You, you're, you're a piano man. That, is, would that be your job yeah, title or a, that is a my pianist? Or? I prefer piano man. Piano Easier man. to say. <laughs> All right, so this is coming up. Uh, it's going to be August 18th to the 20th in Bossier. Uh So what exactly is a one-man piano show? Is it you playing just music up there? or? Well, I tell you what. What happened? like I play music all the time, and I, I get these really short breaks between sets, and, and somebody will ask me innocently, hey, how did you become a piano man? And I find myself trying to cram a really, I feel like a really fun story into you know, 12 or 13 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I, I always find myself wishing I had more time to tell the story. And so this is really kind of a manifestation of that. I, I feel like my journey learning music is it's a very special story. And so this is a chance for me to get on stage, play the piano a little, but also tell the story about how I started playing the piano all the way to how I got where I am now. Now, I don't want you to tell the story of how you became a piano man, because obviously that's what's going to go on yeah. in this. But how, how long have you been playing? Well, I started when I was five years old, five years old. And that's, uh, I don't tell my whole life story. That's a little boring, but I, I, I tell snippets along uh-huh. the way. And that's one of the snippets is, is that when I was five years old, my, my mother insisted I get behind a piano. And, and, and that's kind of where it started. And, and where it went from there is kind of a wild and crazy tale. <laughs> so that's <laughs> the one I'm going to share. I tried, I tried piano. I tried uh, saxophone, clarinet. I just, I could never do my pinkies. I could never get them to do what I needed them to do. There's a lot of dexterity involved. Yeah. So this is your full-time job. You're a full-time piano man. This is my full-time job. And this is why I love sharing this story specifically here where mm-hmm. I work. Because when I moved here, I've only lived here 10 years. I didn't move here for music. I moved here when the films were at their peak. And there was a lot of work in movies. Mm-hmm. And music was really the last thing on my radar as far as a profession. It had always been a hobby. But then I, the, I lived here and started looking around. And there was music being played everywhere everywhere and because oh, i yeah. play the piano especially i can do solo gigs a lot and i have a, a bass player friend chris Al- chris allen that i play with all the time so we can do solo or duo and you play all over town and the music once you start playing here you don't stop i mean parties and anniversaries and birthdays mm-hmm. and weddings and charity events charity all just, over the it, place it just never ends and and I did not know that about Shreveport Bossier. I discovered that. And that's one of my favorite things about this area is the music. Wrong note right. The story of an accidental piano man. That's coming up August 18th to the 20th. Now, where in Bossier is the is the uh, show going to be? The show is at the Bossier Arts Council uh, right there across the river on the second floor in what's called the East Bank Theater. I don't know the exact address, but we can find it. We'll put it up on our website. All right. It's, uh, it's the Bossier Arts Council. Uh, the the tickets are on a website called Eventbrite, which is spelled B R B R I T E. Eventbrite, Perfect. Eventbrite.com. Just look for Wrong Note Right. Pick a date. Now I will say, Saturday night's almost sold out. So we're encouraging people to look at Friday and Sunday matinee if you don't like staying out late. Now is this more of a like date night show, or is this something you can bring the whole family to, or what type of person would be perfect to come to this? Well, I think. You know, for kids, I don't know if they can handle two hours or hour and a half of one guy put on a show, but it is colorful and entertaining. Probably a better date night than a family night, but we're not discouraging people from bringing their families. Awesome. Wrong note right. Story of an accidental piano man that's coming up once again over at the Bossier Art Council, August 18th to the 20th. One more thing. I would like to thank our sponsor, Horseshoe Casino. Oh, love they those help, guys. They helped sponsor this show, and uh, I've played the piano there for six years, so... They wanted to be a part of it, so I wanted to make sure I thanked them. The Morning Madhouse, K-94-5.